Found him with banned books in a garage, a Johnston, Iowa-based nonprofit, Andy's Foundation, opens a new office. The new space will primarily be for book storage for the group and a place to do administrative work, but people will be able to come during open hours, Sundays from noon to 2 p.m. to discuss book banning, take home banned books for themselves, and collect boxes full of books to stock little free libraries. Handing out free books that have been banned in Iowa schools was initially the only goal for the group. Then librarians, organizers, and booksellers from around the state started reaching out, asking the group to talk about their work and about the right-wing effort to ban books in Iowa. Book banning pushers in Iowa's school and public libraries started in the fall of 2021, gained steam in 2022, and then came to a head with a law passed in 2023 that prohibits books with vaguely defined sex acts being banned in Iowa public schools. Book banning portions of the law are currently blocked because of a lawsuit in federal court. Johnson, Iowa was a hotbed partly because of the active Moms for Liberty chapters and three school board members with ties to the group. But there was pushback in last year's school board elections where four candidates with connections to Moms for Liberty were defeated and Annie's foundation has only grown since. The founder, Sarah Hayden Paris, has been pleasantly surprised by the overwhelming support Annie's foundation has gotten. They've also been encouraged by the way Iowans have pushed back against book banning, which started because they wanted to protect their own children's education in Johnson schools. She also said their mission statement has always been to ensure that people have easy access to diverse characters in books, and that she didn't necessarily know how important this was to so many people when they wrote that statement. Read more over at Iowa Starting Line. Thanks for watching.